I'm still ill. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I've decided to do another like blogger mail unboxing video just because you guys seem to really enjoy the last one that I did. Um, since I last filmed, I have gotten better and then I have gotten ill again. So maybe I'm sounding a little bit nasally. Um, probably because I am a little bit nasally. Hopefully there's no like bogeys flowing out of my nose or anything like that. And if there is, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, today I thought I would show you guys everything that has sort of landed I always say on my doorstep, but if someone put a package on my doorstep, I'd be really annoyed. Basically, everything that I have received in the past, probably about two weeks. Um, and yeah, I think there's some really exciting bits and bobs. Obviously, I know some things because I can kind of like, or kind of tell the address. But yeah, there's a few bits that I do need to go through. One thing has already been opened, but I will go more into that in a second. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to get started. Also, I don't know if you guys will be able to tell or not, but I've had like six inches cut off my hair. It probably doesn't look any different to you guys whatsoever, but by the time you're watching this, which will be Wednesday, I'm actually going blonde, or kind of blonde, blonde for me, um, because these eyebrows just don't allow real blonde, but um, I saw a hairstyle on Miss Kim Kardashian, or Kardashian West, whatever she wants to be called, um, and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to try something different with my hair. I got balayage done, and it looked really, really blonde on camera and I kind of liked it, but in person it wasn't really that much noticeable. So I decided to kind of go more like blonde, I think it's called. So as blonde as I can go without looking like Draco Malfoy, essentially. Um, but yeah, I will try and like insert a picture or something of the hairstyle that I'm on about, just so you don't think I'm being crazy. I don't mean getting like the bob that she had where she did actually look like Draco Malfoy. Um, hopefully it'll be a bit more sort of pared down and hopefully it'll suit me. If not, then I will just be like, I don't know, wearing a hat for the next however long. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's just get stuck into this because I have a habit of rambling, as I'm sure we all know. I also have a habit of telling you that I have a habit of rambling. Um, but yeah, hopefully the neighbours won't be really noisy like they were last time. So first up we have this box from Model Co. Now Model Co is a brand that I've heard a lot about but I haven't really used that many products. I've tried a few of like their mascara, eyeliner sort of duos but I think I know what this is because they sent me a press release and I don't know, I'm guessing by the weight and everything it's possibly maybe what I think it is. We will just see. Oh, what is this? Let me see. I, I think it is exactly what I thought it was. So. Monaco extends the self tanning range to the perfect ultimate faux glow. So it's a set of fake tanning things, I guess. And we all know I love a good fake tan. Um, I think this is in like Australian dollars. Yeah, so it's in Australian dollars. Um, you've got the exfoliate double sided body wipes, which are these. I've never actually used body wipes for tanning. Um, oh, it says it's cruelty free, so that's good. Um, I'm guessing it gets rid of streaks. Yes, it gets rid of streaks and unwanted colour. Um, and these are 13 Australian dollars, I think. I don't know what that conversion is, but I will put it down below or something or across the screen or whatever. Right, moving on. So next we have the Model Co. One Hour Tan Mousse. I don't know which one's which. I think... This is the one that is $20. Oh, they're both $20, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but it's in the Express Dark. So it's one hour light, two hours medium, three hours dark. So I'm guessing it's kind of like the Cocoa Brown one that I've used before. Um, what does the pump look like? So it's just like a standard moussey pump. Um, but I'm sure I'll be giving that a good go sooner rather than later because I'm looking quite pale at the moment. Um, so yeah, I will be sure to update you guys on this. So next there's this one, which is the Self Tan Instant Bronze. Streak free tan mousse for all skin types developed in four to six hours and I've got the shade light to medium. Um, I don't know what sort of tan this is in terms of like whether it stays on or whether it's like a wash off. I think it just stays on like a regular tan so I'm guessing this is like the regular tan and then the other one's like the express tan or something. But um, yeah like I said I'll be giving those a good go. Let's put them back in their fancy box before I lose everything. So thank you very much for that Model Co. I will be giving that a good go very soon. Next I have a parcel from Fragrance Direct and I kind of know what's in here. I'm doing like a fragrance video with them so I'm guessing this is filled with fragrances. I don't actually know what is in this box though. I've opened it up so there's not like noise everywhere. So I've got Gucci Bamboo. I haven't even heard of this. I normally like Gucci fragrances. This is so exciting. It's like Christmas. I'll just put you there for a minute. 
So it looks a little something like this. Let's give it a good old sniff. I don't want to like... Oh, that's nice. It's like really nice and fresh. It doesn't really smell like anything in particular. I just bit my tongue then. But it's just like a nice scent and it doesn't taste very nice as well. By the way, I will be doing like an actual review as opposed to me just sniffing something and saying if it's nice or not. Um, but that'll be over on the Fragrance Direct channel. Probably, it'll probably be up by the time you are watching this. So um, head on over there, maybe subscribe. It will help me out a little bit. So next we've got Valentino Donna, which is in the sweetest packaging ever. I never really go for Valentino fragrances. I don't know why I'm expecting to smell it if it's brand new. I really don't want to taste it like I did with the last one. Oh, I really like that. That's kind of like sweet and vanilla-y and slightly fruity. Oh, that's so, so nice. Literally, these parcels are like my favorite to get because, you know, I've got to review them, so it's a hard life getting these perfumes. What are you? I didn't even look. Jimmy Choo Illicit. Oh, I knew this was coming actually because um, if you check out on my blog, I'm doing another giveaway for this perfume, not this one like specifically, but um, this Jimmy Choo perfume. And all you've got to do is subscribe to the Fragrance Direct channel and then one of you will win one of these basically. Let's see how it smells. Hopefully it smells good, otherwise I'll just be giving away a perfume that no one liked. I'm just like sh shaking my bingo wings around everywhere like woohoo! That is actually really really nice. But I have no idea what it smells like. I normally like Jimmy Choo fragrances as well, but this one's like a lot different to all the other ones, like the standard Jimmy Choo. The bottle's really pretty. Um, I don't know, I have to look more into it in terms of like notes. That's like the hardest bit about doing fragrance videos. You have to kind of remember all the notes because right now I just I just know if something smells good or not. I don't actually know anything about it. But it does smell nice. I can tell you that. Aha! My mum is going to love this. I'll probably give this to my mum once I've like finished my review and everything. This is the YSL Black Opium. I think it's the Eau de Toilette. Yeah. So the Eau de Parfum came out last year, I think. So they brought out an Eau de Toilette. And I'm guessing it'll probably... Yeah, it looks almost identical, I think. Is it identical? I can't remember, but I know it looks very, very similar. Um, but my mum loves... How do I open it? My mum loves the, um, the opium perfume and she loved Black Opium as well. So she will be very happy that I've got this because realistically, I'm not gonna be able to wear all of these perfumes. They probably just go to waste. So, you know, give them to some friends or something. That is so nice. I wish my mum didn't like it because I'd probably keep it. I kind of prefer that to the original, actually. If you've just tuned in, you're probably just wondering why I'm just smelling my hands so intently, like. But um. Yeah, no, that's really, really nice. So, Mum, if you're watching, because I know sometimes you do watch my videos and it's really, really awkward, um, you will be getting that very soon. Just have to review it first. I'm going to clear up these boxes because they're really annoying me. What is this? Oh, my God. I have seen this advert popping up. Oh, they pinged off one of my nails then. Um, pinging up, like, before all of the YouTube videos with the um, really, really sexy Adriana Lima. What is this? Okay, so the perfume's there. Anyway, I better tell you what it is. It's Marc Jacobs Decadence, and it's in like a really nice velvety box. I'm going to put that there for a minute. I know I just moved all the other boxes, but you're quite a nice box. Um, so I'm guessing this is like the lids. I haven't even seen what this perfume looks like. That is so heavy. It's like a little handbag. I could give this to Michael or Pepe, and they could walk around with their stylish Marc Jacobs handbag. Um... Let's smell it though, how about that? I think this is like Marc Jacobs first like serious perfume or I can't think of like another word to describe it but like obviously you've got like Marc Jacobs Lola and Daisy and things like that. This smells completely different to all the other Marc Jacobs perfumes that I've tried. Um, I'm guessing, you know, by the packaging that it's for more like a sophisticated woman. Not that you can't be sophisticated and wear Daisy or Lola but judging by how this looks and how it smells it's quite like a rich, deep scent, so it'll probably be perfect for like evening or something. Um, but yeah, I just like the packaging. That's what I'm going to say. I think it looks nice. I'm going to keep that one. That's mine. Next, I have the Look Fantastic Beauty Box. I'm not sure if this was this month or last month because the postman mixed it up a bit. 
but I don't know. Either way, the Look Fantastic Beauty Box is normally really, really good. Oh, what have we got in here? So, I think I've had this before, but I've never actually tried it. I love getting that little mini, so whenever I actually go away, I can just take these with me to like hotel or something, as opposed to taking like a massive bottle of cleanser. Um, this is the Bliss Fabulous Foaming Face Wash. I can barely say that. Let's have a sniff. Oh, it's sealed. This is a problem. I can't get into anything with these nails. Did it. It doesn't really smell like that much, but it smells okay. I don't know how I feel about like face washes, because I always find they may be quite stripping, but I think these are meant to be like their hero products or something, so maybe it'll be good. Hopefully it'll be good. Maybe I'll give it a go soon. And then these two look pretty similar, so I'm guessing they go together. Yeah, so we've got the Sebastian Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, it's their Penetrate, and I've never tried Sebastian products, I don't think. I think I maybe tried one, actually, but I've never uh, tried their shampoo or conditioner. So next, what have we got? This looks fun. What is this? It is the Phyto, or Phyto, I never know how to say it, Phyto Keratin Extreme Exceptional Cream. So what I, for ultra damaged, dry and brittle hair, so when I go blonde, if I don't chicken out, this might come in handy. So next I've got the Tan Works by Moni Skincare uh, Tan Maintainer. I think I've had like a fake tan of theirs before, but I've never actually used it. So maybe I'll give that a go with this to see how it works. Um, I don't really know how tan maintainers work. Um, Non-greasy product works at slowing down natural exfoliation. So I guess that's how it works. Which sounds good to me because I always get like a line under my boobs and under my bra of where like my tan just goes and then I have like a really 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 brown stomach um, and just like white boobs so that may help my white boob brown stomach problem fingers crossed we've also got the Codage oh no it's a random language that I can't speak creme gourmand creme gourmand maybe scrubbing cream I'm guessing you're just an exfoliator. Apply on dry skin using circular movements. Yeah, so just an exfoliator. If there's a bloody foil cap, which there is, ugh. Oh, that'll be good. Doesn't smell of anything either, so I'm guessing it's probably quite good for like sensitive skin. But that's like one of those um, sort of micro abrasion scrubs that you can get that literally scrub the hell out of your skin, so that'll be quite useful. Again, fairly decent size, you don't normally need a lot for this sort of thing, I just tend to use it like on my nose and my chin. So that'll be fun, I've never really tried much Codage before, I think I've tried like a serum of theirs. And it's really expensive, but it's really good. There's so many things in this box, we've got the Cordely Vino Sauce Moisturising Sorbet, I've tried... There goes the lid. I've tried Vino Sauce before by Cordely, um, I think it was their eye cream that I've tried. This seems really nice, seems really lightweight. Also doesn't smell of anything. I like the um, Look Fantastic have a lot of brands that I know as well as brands that I don't know. Like Vito I know, Bliss I know, Tanworks I do know now but I didn't before and then you've got Cadage which I didn't know before. It still doesn't smell of anything, what am I doing? And then we've got another Cordley product, again another Vino sauce and this is the SOS Thirst, Thirst Quenching Serum. This is the same sort of thing as I had before in terms of the eye cream that I had but it's a serum. And uh, I bet this probably doesn't smell of anything either, but we'll give it a go. Yep, smells of nothing. But that sinks into the skin really nicely as well. I've now probably got like the most moisturised, exfoliated hand on YouTube. Which isn't always a bad thing. So next I have something in a very mysterious package. I have absolutely no idea what this is. I'll try to hide my address. What are you? Oh! Um, yeah. So here we have the Mr. Blank... Minty Fresh Teeth Whitening Strips. I got an email from their PR literally like a month and a half ago and I thought they'd just like decided not to send it to me or I don't know, just it got lost in the post or whatever, but I've heard a lot about these and they're meant to be really, really good, so I'll be sure to give them a go. I think there's 14 days worth in here. I'm guessing you do it every single day. I don't want to open them up in case, you know, they just go off or something. But um, that's what the packaging, that was really cat handed That's what the packaging looks like. Um, so there's 14 of them. Non-peroxide, enamel safe, removes stains. Um, doesn't seem to have any real nasty things in there. Um, so yeah, I'll be giving that a good old go. 
I'm just thinking, I'm vlogging like the week you've just seen. I'm gonna be doing like Vlogtober, but in like my own little way, so as opposed to filming like every single day for Vlogtober, I'm gonna be doing like a weekly vlog in Vlogtober. So I may have tried these by the time you're watching this. If not, they'll probably be in like the following vlog, so be sure to check that out. It'll either be like the video beforehand or the video after. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to trying these because they're gonna make your teeth really, 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 really white. So hopefully I'll end up like Simon Cowell, just with different hair. So the next thing I've got is that thing that I can't really show you, which I think, because there's a box right next to me, but it's huge. Um, I will quickly get up. It's a mattress by Lisa. So this is what I was talking about. Um, obviously the mattress isn't in here right now because it would be crushing me. Um, but yeah, I was sent a mattress, which is probably one of the best things I've ever been sent in my life. Because, oh, hang on, I need to put this box down. But yeah, my favourite things in life are generally sleeping and eating. So the next best thing that anyone could do is potentially pay for like my Tesco Direct shopping, which... You know, if that happens, then you know you've made it as a vlogger. Um, but yeah, they sent me a mattress. I got the double-sized, um, and I've slept on it already because I have opened it up because, to be honest, Ollie just couldn't wait. He's had, like, a really bad back lately. Um, I opened it a few days ago, and we are absolutely obsessed with it. It's, like, the best mattress ever. It's, like, memory foam, and obviously it fits in that box, so it comes, like, all squished up and rolled. But yeah, I will insert, like, a clip somewhere on the screen... I'd need to stop moving my hands around like this. <laughs> oh. We did it. Oh really comfy. So I think this is meant to rise over time so I should probably get off it. I think they say it's like the first hour it should be like fully risen after eight hours it's like sleepable and then I think after like 24 hours or even a week it's like as good as it's meant to be. But I really like how soft the material is. I've never actually had like a memory foam mattress. Oh I'm tired out after that though guys. Whew. But all you need to know is basically I am sleeping so much more, like, I literally haven't gotten up early in like a week because I wake up and I just think, too comfy, nope, and I'll just go to sleep. Next I have a few things from Misguided, so let's have a little look at that, I'll get rid of like all the packaging and stuff. So first up we have got this very fishy smelling, um, what's it called, it's a dress, that's exactly what it is. Um, I'll try and insert like either a cutaway or just like a picture of me wearing it or something. Um, but this looks really, really nice. It doesn't look fake as such. Like obviously you can tell it's fake when you like feel it. You, can, you know it's not like real leather. Um, but I think the way it's done looks actually quite good. And the material is quite thick. It's like a high neck. I'm lacking words today. High neck dress. Um, it's kind of a line. And yeah. It does smell a bit because obviously it is fake leather so hopefully that will just like stop smelling after a while. It's got a zip at the back so I can get myself in there and what else do I have to say about it? Oh it's got pockets which is like my favourite thing. Get your hand in there Steph. I don't know why I had to demonstrate the fact that this is how you use a pocket but I love anything like this with pockets just because I always feel like I never know what to do with my hands, so especially when I'm doing like, outfit pictures for my blog, Ollie will be like, you're looking really awkward, and it's normally because I'm not holding a bag or I don't have pockets, so I'll just be there like, like not really know what to do with myself. So having pockets is like solving all of my problems, and yeah. It smells really weird, I hate it, but I really like it at the same time. Next is something that you're either going to love or hate. I am personally obsessed with it and I cannot wait to wear it like every single day of my life forever and ever and ever and it is this top with boobs hopefully I don't need to put on some sort of like not safe for work thing on my YouTube channel for this but boob t-shirt and last but not least from Misguided we have let me try and open it up this suede maxi coat cardigan thing again I'm not really going to be able to show you this um, so I will do like a cutaway or picture or whatever 
but I saw this and the girl on the website was wearing it like as a jacket but I thought it would be a really, really nice dress um, maybe check like a slip or something underneath but um, yeah I'm probably going to wear this as like a dress and just layer up underneath so I can get away with it for winter but I'm thinking maybe I'll wear it with like my big um, knee high boots uh, you've probably seen me wearing them on Instagram or on my blog because that seems to be all I wear at the moment but I just thought that would look really nice and it wouldn't be like too cold or anything for winter I don't really have anything red in my wardrobe not really, I'm looking at like my little rail there and it's all black and white and brown and grey and I don't have any red so yeah, I'm just stepping outside of the box I guess so that's it for my second vlogger mail video, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, obviously, again, I have to say it, I'm really not bragging you guys, I know that I'm very, very lucky to get sent all of these things. Um, I do do it as my job, so I don't know, you can kind of take that how you want, but I do appreciate every single thing that I get sent, and thank you to all the brands that did send me some bits and pieces. I cannot wait to be, you know, really well dressed, really, really white teeth, and also a really really great mattress, it's like the, literally the weirdest thing I've ever been sent but I'm not complaining. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up if you did, also please subscribe if you do want to see more of me, um, it really helps me out if you guys do subscribe to me, and yeah, I think that's about it, I will see you in the next video, which should be on Sunday, it will be the second instalment of my vlog, but apart from that, that's about it from me, I will see you then, goodbye!